Hi, this is Jason Folkerts, and I'm here at your Washington Pavilion. And specifically, I'm in the Raven Children's Art Studio. And guess what? We're gonna do some cartooning together. You might have some time at home. This will be fun. So join me and my friends, and we're gonna do some cartooning. So in our first lesson, we talked about making a cartoon face, and we used a circle. How about if we would use some other type of shape? Maybe like this type of shape. How about if I just decided, hey, you know what? What could I do with a cartoon with a square? So if you wanna go ahead and draw a square on your piece of paper, just like I did, that would be great. Now, what could I possibly do to draw a cartoon? How about I would draw something that we all know and recognize and is quite famous? And again, we're gonna do the same principles that we did before with a circle, because you wanna know how to lay out your cartoon face. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line right down the middle, and then I'm gonna draw another line right across there. Now, the last time we did this, it looked like a pizza. What does this look like? Kind of like a window in a house. Now, what could we draw with that? And just using shapes, follow me, we're gonna unveil a character that everybody knows and most people like. Here we go. I'm gonna draw a line right here and right here. Now, I made a triangle. Put a little line there and a little line there. You see how I did that? I might even darken one side. How about this? Just like that. So I have a triangle inside my square, the window. Then I'm gonna go right here with this line. I'm actually gonna go back a little ways. I'm gonna draw another line here, another line here. Kind of another triangle on each side. Bring that line down like this, and I'm gonna do another line here and another line there. So we have these triangles. Don't worry about that right now. We'll come back to it, but you've just done that. Now I'm gonna go to the top of the nose right there. And I'm gonna go up and I'm just gonna draw a line like this, a line like this. And I'm gonna put another set of triangles right in there. Isn't it interesting? All we've done so far is use squares and triangles. And you might already be able to tell that we're drawing a face. Now, why don't I go a little further? Let's do some more triangles. How about this? I'm gonna draw a line here and a line here right off of here. And I'm gonna take that triangle and go all the way down. I think you're gonna find out who we're drawing right now. I think we recognize that, don't we? And then I'm gonna connect these two lines with a little bit of a circle, like a half bowl, almost like a cereal bowl on top of the head. We're gonna come down here like this. And now let's go in here and let's put a mouth. Can you tell who this is? I think you probably can. It's, it's Batman. Now the thing about drawing Batman really quickly like this is you never wanna make him smile, right? Batman's always got the scowl because he's Batman. And then I can go in and do a little bit of shading and you can too because Batman has a lot of shadow which is a whole lot of fun to do because you get to use your pencil and you get to shade things in and you can make his neck go like this, a little bit of shadow here. And why would I bring the shadow over here? Well, because maybe there's a moon right behind Batman, right back there, shining down on him. And so you gotta make sure that Batman, there we go, we'll kind of put his, his, his cowl on, his cape. I don't know how that looks to you out there, but I think what we've done is just a few minutes, we've created a very, very, very famous character that we all know, right? Batman. And it's really made up of nothing more than squares and triangles. And then just for fun, we threw in a little bit of circle. But you know what? You can do this at home and you can have a lot of fun with that. Just practice working on your shapes to create characters. And like I said, you can even take more time than we're doing and shade it in. And once you're done, you can go ahead and color it as well. And so you can erase some of these lines with your uh, eraser and get rid of those and then color it up. And it's Batman. That was kind of easy to do and a lot of fun. Hey, tune in again. We'll do another character that you've probably heard of. And I'll teach you how to do a quick cartoon using shapes that way with a different type of shape. See you soon.